Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Gators Golden Coins. Got a good one for you today, guys. You know, what's going on in the news? Not a lot, guys. There's not a lot to talk about in the news right now. I mean, the Federal Reserve, interest rates, inflation, holding steady, blah, blah, blah. We've talked about all that kind of stuff, guys. I'm, I'm tired of talking about interest rates and inflation. We know what it is. Inflation is still higher than usual. The Federal Reserve is holding steady. So things, everything's just moving sideways, you know, except for the prices. Prices are still going up, including silver. Actually, silver is touching $30 an ounce right now, guys. Now, originally we were we were calling for $60 an ounce silver, but that's because um, we were sold a a uh, one of these cup and handle patterns and I don't, I don't know why people put that stuff out there on the internet except maybe just to get attention or something but it looks like the cup and handle thing is a bunch of malarkey and probably not going to play out the way all these uh chart wizards and gurus were saying it, it would as i say that's like fortune telling to me and I, i'm not even going to pay attention to that all those chart gurus who are who think they can predict the price of silver, guys. Because let me tell you how that would work. If it was that easy to predict the price of silver, if it was locked in that the price of silver was going to be $60 by the end of the year or $120 by the end of the year, some people were calling for it, then everyone would just be buying it up until the price was at that price today. Because all future knowledge is 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 calculated into today's price so i'm tired of, of looking at all the fortune telling and i don't even pay attention to other silver stackers who think they can you know dude i see the most ridiculous stuff i see some some of these channels talking about like three thousand dollar an ounce silver I, dude I, I just can't even watch i think that just makes silver stackers look bad so i just don't even look at stuff like that anymore but nothing makes a silver stacker look worse than wearing rubber gloves. And I was watching this uh, silver stacker, um, Silver Geek 4000, and he was he was showing off his his new silver. And and see, he's afraid to touch the silver with his bare hands, so he's wearing these rubber gloves. But the goofiest thing is the gloves don't even fit his hands right, so they're like really baggy looking. And that tells me. Uh, Silver Geek must have really small hands, but he also has a really high-pitched voice. So I'm thinking Silver Geek is is um, not not probably the biggest man in the world, but that's none of my business. I'm not here to judge a man by his stature. But take the gloves off, Weasel Boy. Take the gloves off, Weasel Boy. Come on now. Come on, trying, trying to grow up, Weasel Boy. He's, he's scared of touching the silver. Look, see, I ain't scared to touch my silver. See, this is this is taking no value away from the silver. It's not doing anything to the silver, guys. See, I'm, I'm rubbing my thumb on it. Now I don't do this on purpose or nothing, guys. But I mean, if, if just touch it, touch it by the 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 rim here, the edge of the coin, you're not going to hurt nothing, guys. You see, you're not going to hurt the silver. The silver can can uh, um is resilient. It's a precious metal. It's it's very it's very durable. It's very tough. And if it, if it somehow got a little dirt on it, run it under the sink. You can run it under the sink, guys. But I've come full circle on Silver Eagles. And this is all I'm buying anymore, guys. I got like 15 of them here right now. Now, everyone made fun of my tube video where I, I told you this is the secret to stacking 100 times faster. But it's actually working because um at, at the time of that video which was just uh, about two or three days ago i only had five silver eagles now i have 15 and i got five more on the way soon i'll have 20 and i planned on stopping there but i found out 20 only takes you up to here and this tube can actually hold five more so this is a 25 coin tube so i'm gonna have to buy five more but when this tube is full I'm going to take a break for a while, guys. Now, now a lot of people were sending me off in my last video. They said, they said, well, it's been nice knowing you, man. I always appreciate you, you know. And I'm like, dude, I didn't say I was quitting YouTube. I didn't say I was taking a break from YouTube. And I'm not dying either, guys. I, I said I was taking a break from stacking for a little bit because 
I'm, I'm hitting my comfort level for precious metals. All right, guys, it's important that you diversify your investments. And gold and silver should be a, a portion of your total portfolio. I also invest heavily in the stock market. And by the way, guys, stock market is doing great this year. And it's going to keep doing good. The precious metals in my portfolio plays a role. It's, it acts as a hedge against stock market volatility. But the majority of my investments are actually in the stock market, guys. It's a rigged game, but it's rigged in your favor if you play it correctly. And that's just to avoid um, over leveraging your positions and not buying into all of these meme stocks like GameStop and all this crap. Just buy the S&P 500, buy some small cap value. You'll do very good in the long run. What else is going on, guys? Did I think I, I think I was talking about Silver Eagles for a second. Let me get back to this. I've come full circle on Silver Eagles, guys. I avoided these for a long time because I thought the premiums were too high. But I've gone back to Silver Eagles because it's a very beautiful coin. It's a very American coin. It's a, it's a nice coin to collect. And uh, I, I believe you're going to get those premiums back when you sell. If you, if you have your wits about you and you know you know what they're worth you're going to get what they're worth when you're selling them now i know some people are saying well i took mine to a pawn shop and he only offered me you know twenty dollars or something well i mean guys you can't sell these at a pawn shop all right don't don't take your coins to a pawn shop don't take them to a jewelry store don't take them to uh you have to take them to a coin shop guys period you're going to get the best prices for your precious metals at a coin shop and there's plenty of them around guys there are plenty of coin shops around and the best thing the number one um, item that they're looking to buy and sell are eagles silver eagles and gold eagles okay so i've come full circle i still think a 10 ounce bar is a good value You're, you are going to save a lot of premium buying a 10 ounce bar and it's a good way to get your weight up fast um, but once you have a couple of those go ahead and get a couple of eagles as well a couple of silver eagles i just don't have enough and that's why I'm, I'm concentrating on silver eagles right now i want to get like i said i want to fill up this tube and then i'm probably going to buy another tube and i'm probably going to have two tubes of these and and we'll just see where that where that fits in my portfolio as the price goes up and down as the stock market goes up and down i like to buy over time and i like to keep everything in balance now a lot of people say that they, they want to buy the buffalo rounds i don't think i have a single buffalo round guys and i don't get into rounds i do have a couple of them here and rounds are cool they're okay and, you know i got a little scottsdale uh a little cowboy round that's okay and i got a little tombstone round that's a it's a nice piece of silver. dude this is more expensive than an eagle though this right here probably the most expensive piece of silver i own the premiums on this was outrageous this was like a 40 dollar piece of silver guys that, that's a that's a high premium piece of silver these silver town mint rounds these are nice these are cool asahi rounds some people don't like them they uh don't like the name on it whatever none of my business and then we got some like uh patriotic rounds here the price of liberty is eternal vigilance this is a cool round got the gadsden uh don't tread on me snake here very patriotic would i buy a bunch of these probably not i mean i would probably probably buy something like a silver town of everything i see here um this is a nice round very generic i like the, has still has the eagle theme to it um silver town is a very well-known name i would feel comfortable buying those but as I said, guys, staying to eagles right now, I want to get uh, 25 of these. So I need 10 more eagles, and then I might buy another 25. And I'll probably just buy them uh, faster. Probably just go ahead and buy 25 all in one shot. If I can afford that, that is, that is a, lot of, a lot of silver, a lot of money. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes, guys. We'll see how it goes but i have people they ask me you know what is this channel all about some of your videos are serious some of your videos are funny 
Uh, I can't tell when you're when you're joking. I, I can't tell what this channel is about. Is it about coins? Is it about marijuana? Is it about Bitcoin? What is your channel about? My channel is about living the good life, and it's about freedom. It's about retirement. My my channel primarily is me re preparing for my retirement. Gold and silver plays an important role in that because, as I said, it's a hedge against the stock market. It provides security in retirement. And uh, my southern accent is fake, by the way, guys. I, I am actually from, where do you think I'm from? Am I from Canada? Am I from Mexico? I've heard that my southern accent is fake. So where, where am I actually from, guys, uh, if I'm not from the southeast United States? Where am I from, guys? Am I from uh, Canada, Mexico, Japan? Where, where am I from, guys? You tell me down in the comments. But I self-identify as a Ford F-150, a 1989 Ford F-150, as was chosen by the viewers. We put up a poll last night. As, uh, what, what item, what inanimate object should I self-identify as? We, we had a Waylon Jennings 8-track uh, to choose from. A, a can of skull and a bag of beef jerky and I think the the Ford F-151 so I'm gonna be a Ford F-150 today um, there you go I think I've rambled on long enough I think I wasted enough of your time today so that's what I got for you today guys um, make sure if you wear gloves the gloves actually fit your hands weasel boy Buy, buy the smaller size gloves, weasel boy. Your gloves are too big for your tiny little hands. See ya.